Hey, Dr. J, it's me, uh, Councilman Justin Brannon. Um, it's good to see you. I think we met, uh, must have been over a decade ago um, when I was working for uh, my predecessor, Councilman Gentile. Um, and I'd always heard your name. I'd always heard Dr. J, Dr. J, like, who is this guy? Um, and, um, and when I finally met you, um, it wasn't what I expected. I think, um, you know, hearing your name and, and with such reverence and like, oh, you, you, have you met Dr. J? I was like, no, I, I haven't. Uh, I thought it was this basketball player, um, but uh, I've never seen you play basketball. But, um, and then when we finally met, um, you were just so warm and open and, and sort of, um, you know, I had a lot of questions, you know, I, I grew up around here, but I was looking to get more involved in the community and stuff and um, wanted to know about, you know, the specific needs of the Arab American community. And I had a million questions and um, you were just always willing to hear me out and, and no, you know, I think you said something like there are no stupid questions. I didn't believe you, but I asked a whole lot of questions and, um, it was it was great then to finally get to know you because I'd always heard about you um, as sort of this like this mythical person. Um, so finally getting to know you and 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 you know becoming friends with you was a was a big deal for me because I felt like um, I had been led into some secret club here and and and, and sort of been accepted um, into. Um, the Arab American community here, which was a huge deal for me because I wanted so badly to understand the community um, and to learn about the community and to understand the needs so I could be a better um, public servant, you know. And so then years later, when you came and um, spoke at my inauguration, uh, it was sort of full circle. Um, and I don't think I really, really hit me at the time while you were speaking. Um, but it was a really big deal because you were one of the first people when I really first started getting involved um, in my community who I came to for guidance. And um, you were just all, just always so warm. You know, when I think about you, I just think of a very warm person um, who is, um, you know, it always took the time. Like, who the hell was I? I was just some new guy, you know, poking around. Like, who is this guy? What does he want to do? got a bunch of tattoos. I don't know what his deal is. Um, and you were just so cool and open with me. And um, it taught me a lot. And it taught me a lot about um, how to be a leader, um, how to always be listening to know when to lead and know when to listen and how those things are so intertwined. Um, and just about being humble and being a good person. So um, I'm honored to know you. And, um, and um, I was very, very lucky and grateful to have you speak at my uh, inauguration when I when I finally then became an elected official. It was a big moment for me. So um, I love you, Dr. J. What do people say about Dr. J when you when you talk about him? It's just, it's like, it's just, it's almost like, you know, Mariah and Madonna and then Dr. J, you know, um, you know, he was like this, just, it's just like this mythical name, you know, and then you finally meet the guy and you're like, oh, you know, he's just this warm, just this warm guy. Um, and, um, you know, and just, he, you know, you are just a legendary person, you know, and, um, you know, for, for someone who, was here in the early days of really when, when the Arab American community really started building up in this part of the neighborhood, um, which is now, it's gotten so sort of woven into the fabric of this neighborhood. It's like it's always been here. But the fact that you were here, you know, helping folks when they were first moving here, um, you know, that's a, that's a huge, huge deal, you know, because um, for the first, say, the first wave of immigrants that came here, it seems like so long ago. You know, um, but um, to think about just a couple of decades ago when this was still, you know, sort of a fledgling area for um, immigrants coming from the Middle East, the fact that you were here and the stories I've heard about you buying furniture for people that, you know, hey, you just moved here. OK, cool. You need a couch. I, I got you a couch. And 10 minutes later, a couch appears from somewhere. Um, you know, that, that's 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 rare. It's very, very rare. Um, and. Um, but but to to know you it was was this was a very big deal. So um, you know, and and I think your influence is certainly felt. And you know, um, you throw a pebble into into the ocean, and those ripples, you know, go, like sort of like a teacher, right? Like Dr. J, who's a teacher, where you never really know where their influence ends because you've touched so many folks sort of exponentially. Um, 
that you'll never know how many people you touched. And um, it's pr I'd be pretty proud of that, Dr. J.